friends i am arif singh roshi i am here to present a presentation on the topic the common collector amplifier so what is common collector amplifier the common collector amplifier is called the emitter follower amplifier because the output voltage signal at the uh, emitter is approximately equal to the voltage signal input on the base here we could see that the input signal through the base is equal to the uh, output at the emitter so we call it a emitter follower amplifier so we could say that at the base terminal there is a biasing voltage vb which is considered as input voltage and at the uh, emitter terminal there is a biasing voltage ve which is considered as the output voltage collector terminal is common between input and output that is here we could see that between the base input and the emitter output there is a common terminal which is called collector terminal this is called this is why it is called common collector amplifier circuit so influence of resistors in the circuit r1 and r2 network divider used to bias npn transistor therefore bias voltage vp is equal to vcc into r2 by r1 plus r2 so with the collector terminal of the resistor connected directly by uh, directly to vcc and no collector resistance so r0 is equal to 0 here we could see between vcc and ic there is no resistance formed for uh, none of the resistors are connected in between so the rc or the collector resistance will be zero and any collector current will be will generate a voltage drop across the emitter resistor re the same voltage drop represent uh, the output voltage ve is equal to v output that means here we could see the ic current pass through the ie or the ic current given to the ie or the emitter current uh, have uh, some voltage drop and this voltage drop is equal to the uh, output voltage so therefore uh, emitter voltage is equal to the output voltage base emitter junction is forward bias base current for flows to the emitter causing much large collector current ic here uh, we could see base emitter junction and uh, we could see that uh, the base emitter junction is in forward bias due to this positive or uh, forward bias uh, the ic current will be much greater when compared to the both terminals so base is extremely small ic equal to ib plus ic therefore i is approximately equal to ib here we could see that comparing with the uh, ic and uh, ie terminal or the uh, collector and emitter terminal base current will be very minute or the very small compared to the other terminal so uh, the presence of ib is not considered here actually so the ie is approximately equal to ic we could say that ie is approximately equal to ic so output voltage is generally in 98 to 99 percentage value of input that is unit gain that is uh, here we could see that uh, here in the circuit the input given to the circuit is approximately equal to the v output and uh, some of the voltage drop is acted here but it is 99 percentage value of input so it we could uh, call it as unity gain and output signal closely follows input that is in phase with the input so v output is equal to v input into 
R2 by R1 plus R2. So, what is current gain? Current gain for the emitter follower is current gain is equal to emitter current by base current. That is current gain IC plus IB by IB. So, IB and IB is cancelled here. So, uh, current gain is equal to um, collector current by IB plus the base current plus 1. So, therefore, the equation will be uh, current gain is equal to beta. IC by IB is equal to beta. So, current gain is equal to beta plus 1. Now, move to the power gain. The common collector power gain is product of voltage gain and the current gain. So, uh, for emitter follower power gain is approximately equal to current gain. So, here we could see the power gain is equal to, uh, it is the product of voltage and the voltage gain and the current gain. Since the voltage gain is approximately e uh, equal to 1 in the common collector amplifier, uh, we could say that power gain is equal to the current gain. Now, moving to our last topic, input impedance. So, input impedance uh, in the input is that in input is uh, considered as beta into emitter resistance plus R e dash. Since R e dash will be uh, generally very small compared to the emitter resistance R e to the equation can be simplified as is that in input is equal to or the uh, input impedance is equal to beta into R e is that uh, input impedance equal to uh, Rb parallel to the beta into R e dash plus R in. If R e dash is neglected, then input uh, impedance will be uh, base uh, base resistance parallel to the beta into emitter resistance. So the input impedance of a typical emitter follower is decided by the DC biasing resistance RB or the base resistance. Hence, while designing an emitter follower to match a high source impedance, the value of base resistance should be suitable chosen. So, I am concluding my presentation. Thank you. Have a nice day.